Hey Mustangs, in this video we're going to take a look at four vocabulary words that are going to help us uh, throughout the second part of our ecology unit here. Now to do your vocabulary, we're going to do it like you always do it in class, so either three or four column vocabulary. Um, it's going to be written directly into your SNB. You should have written it down um, into your table of contents as to which pages is it going to go on. If you don't have it written down in your table of contents, go ahead and go to the class website and find out what page you're supposed to be putting your vocabulary into. So this will be titled Ecology Part 2 Vocabulary. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing, um, the big thing that I want you to focus on as we go through this unit is the idea of survival and the fight for survival that animals have to go through. Now we talked about this in class, the fact that we are very fortunate uh, in the country we live in and being humans and everything that we usually don't have to fight for survival on a daily, ba daily basis, but other animals do. And, and that's a huge, huge thing for them. A lot of them don't even know if they're going to make it um, to the end of a day. So. As we go through this unit, as we go through these vocabulary words, that's what the main focus is going to be. Um, the ability to survive and what kind of things impact and affect an individual's or even a species' ability to survive. Alright, so our first word is resources. So in order to survive, animals need certain things. And again, we talked about this in class. So the big three, I like to call them the big three, um, the main things that animals need to survive, food, water, and shelter. Okay? And you're going to hear the big three come up a lot as we go through this unit. So in order to survive, there are certain things that are absolutely necessary and that without them, an animal cannot survive. Now with the big three, these are the necessities. There are other things that are necessary for different types of animals that they will need to survive. Um, but the big three applies to just about every single thing out there, every single animal that you can think of. So in their fight for survival, resources, the living or non-living things that are necessary in order for an organism to be able to survive. Alright, our next word, <coughs> carrying capacity. Okay? Now, <clears throat> if we look at the definition here for carrying capacity, um, it's defined as the maximum number of individuals that an environment is able to support. Okay, so um, if you pick one species and you look at where they're living, the environment that they live in or the ecosystem or the habitat, however you want to look at it, can only support so many individuals. Because in order to survive, they need to depend on their resources, and unfortunately, resources are not unlimited. So there is a limited, a very limited amount of resources that are available to all the individuals. So if you look at this picture here showing the flamingos, um, there's a really big group. And if that population, if that number of flamingos keeps on growing, they're going to hit a point where eventually the environment just can't support any more individuals because those resources are going to run out. So individuals will start competing. They'll start fighting for food, water, shelter, the basic three, and many other resources that they need in order to stay alive. So the carrying capacity, it's that point. It's that maximum number of individuals that an environment can support. And you could use this with any organism. So for all living things out there, they will hit a point where the environment just can't support any more individuals. And that's when competition comes into play. Humans, humans we have not yet reached our carrying capacity, but eventually we will. So we've spread across the globe and our population keeps growing in numbers, more and more humans um, all the time. Eventually even we will hit our carrying capacity. So we will hit a point where this planet, our environment here, can no longer support any more individuals. Alright, next, climate. Okay, so climate and weather are not the same thing. Climate is the predictable year-to-year -year conditions, whereas weather is more like a daily thing. And if you think about weather, what happens today, so on November uh, 18th today, um, the w weather that the way it is today doesn't mean November 18th next year or the following year or the year after that, or even the years in the past, November 18th, that it's the same weather. Um, here with climate, climate is predictable. So we know here that in Southern California, in the summer we should expect um, certain conditions such as temperatures that are in the 90s and 100s. Uh, that's normal for Southern California weather. Um, I'm sorry, climate. We also can predict that in the 
fall how it's going to be. We can predict how it's going to be in the winter, and we can even predict how it's going to be in the spring. We might not say the exact weather on exact days, but we can predict how much rainfall we should expect in each of those different times of the year. Um, so with the climate, we're looking at average year-to-year -year conditions, very predictable conditions that we could say um, in various regions. And of course, not all regions are going to have the same climates, as we know. Uh, desert climates are very different from rainforest climates. So as you see in the picture here, some climates are very hot, dry, don't receive a lot of rain or water, um, whereas other clim climates can be complete opposites of that. And then, of course, there's a spectrum in between as to what kind of climate there could be in a certain area. Now, climate affects survival. Uh, if you look at areas that have extreme climates, you usually don't find a lot of life. But if you look at areas that have um, very mild and favorable climates where they get um, a good amount of water, not too much, too much could actually you know, cause individuals not to survive in a certain area, but they get a good amount of water, uh, good temperatures, favorable temperatures, not extreme, hot or cold, then you usually find a lot of life. So climate can affect survival as well. All right, last word is ecological biodiversity. Okay. So the word bio, I would underline the word bio on your paper there, uh, and then diversity. So biodiversity, bio means living, diversity means differences. So biodiversity is looking at all the different life either on our planet as a whole, or we can look at it in an area. And it's, it's literally a number, it's calculating. So if we were to calculate, um, count all the number of individual species out there. Okay, So if we count all the different species that exist on our planet, we would be cal uh, calculating the ecological biodiversity of our planet. Um, the more species, the greater the biodiversity. Now at this point, we have a lot of organisms going extinct, both plant and animal. So every single time something goes extinct, a certain species goes extinct, the biodiversity goes down. Okay, So the number of living things decreases every single time something goes extinct. Okay? Um, you can also calculate biodiversity, ecological biodiversity in areas. So um, if we looked at a desert, desert doesn't usually have a lot of biodiversity as compared to, let's say, a rainforest, which has a lot of biodiversity. Again, it's counting all the different species that live in that area. Um, the more different species there are, the greater the ecological biodiversity. All right, so that's the end of the vocabulary for now, um, and we'll be discussing these. These will come up again and again throughout this unit, and don't forget the key here is all about survival. And even when we're talking about ecological biodiversity here, um, you look at extinction and stuff like that, those are animals that aren't surviving. And so we'll look at what kind of causes um, things to go extinct uh, and what could increase or decrease biological, uh, ecological biodiversity.